Hello and welcome everyone. I'm John RMS, otherwise known as Ace Bullion, and I'm constantly thriving to bring you new content, new amazing coin reviews and videos. And today as well, no exception. As you can see here, here's some of the coins and bars that I have reviewed recently. Of course, the 007 series. And well, it's proven a very popular design. Anyway, Please be sure you smash that thumbs up button, but also look down below in the description where you can find a link to the Silver Traders website, um, Ace Bullion, and of course the Precious Metal Forum, where of course it's a free forum for everybody. There's no fees for anyone. Anyway, I hope you like what you see. So please consider hitting that subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. Anyway, let's crack on here with uh, this coin review, shall we? Okay, so here is today's exciting coin review for you, and here is the coin. Now, I'm going to start off this rather unusually and saying that, look, this is not a coin for the bog standard collector. No, this coin is actually a premium coin, and I do mean premium. So please understand that. It's not something for the faint-hearted. Anyway, Let's have a look here at the coin. Now, we see here Queen Elizabeth II, it's the 2022 $1. Now, I'm sure you can already see it's from the uh, Royal Australian Mint, and of course, it's the kangaroo. Uh, now, this is something I'm actually looking forward to. Let's have a look in some detail. Now, I'm not really a huge fan of the matted background. I've said that you know multiple uh, times, however, the Royal Australian Mint seems to be nailing it really well. The Queen is looking very, very beautiful. However, let's click over. We can see that we have a milled or a reeded edge here. And now we're gonna come on to this design. And what a design is it? Look at it. It is a beautiful kangaroo. Um, and I think it's a, a red back uh, kangaroo. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm just having a, a gander here. Uh, now, this is limited to 10,000 mintage. Now, does that mean that is highly collectible? Well, that's for you to determine. It's your money at the end of the day. I'm not pushing silver. I'm not trying to tell you how to spend your money, and nor would I ever do that. I keep finances and politics off of my channel because, quite frankly, there's a, about a thousand other channels just following this video that I'm sure will have politics or uh, financial advice. So it's nothing to do with me, not my place really to say it. I'm not qualified to tell you what to do with your money. But this coin here, the Royal Australian Mint Kangaroo, 29th in the series, and it's the king of the outback. Well, some would argue it's the pest of the outback, especially if you ask a trucker. Now, I'm gonna zoom in here and have a good look. I was laughing when I read over a lot of these descriptions on this coin um, because it was just comical. Uh, but here we go. We have one ounce, three nines silver. And there we have the right down here, uh, the maker's mark. Now the front design of course was done by uh, Jody Clark, uh, who's done the queen's portrait. And here's the kangaroo. Now what is comical about this is the terminology, the wording that they use to describe this coin. And I swear to God, it's as if they were selling you a Monet uh, painting, but, <laughs> you know, minimalistic, uh, invocative, provocative, uh, you, know, you name it, and there was a bunch of words for it. Now, what I'm looking at here is, you know, as a real person, as someone who's buys coins to, you know, for my own personal liking or for my own collection. I'm actually looking here to see whether or not I like the coin or not. I'm not going to be, you know, enticed by some fancy, fancy words. No, I'm going to be, well, just rather straightforward and honest. Now, I do like the quote, quote, minimalistic design in the background. I think actually that is rather, you know, nice and unique. If you take a look here, you can see these kind of fern-like plants growing. Now, it's supposed to be a desert environment, and I can't really see that. I think that's just more of a background feature. 
And it took me a little bit to spot the sun. Now, it's blatantly obvious, so it should be blatantly obvious to you guys here because I'm zoomed in right on the sun right now. But because of how they've done this rather abstract design uh, with the rest of the coin, you know, the sun actually <laughs> kind of blurred into the picture. Now, of course, you can see the sun right here, right behind the kangaroo's head. I'm not quite sure what this little triangle is at the tip of my finger, um, but we have a... Uh, a tree out in the desert outback, um, what looks to be a, well, a boulder pile um, or a rock wall uh, by, well, it's definitely human made because that's not how rocks form. And there we go, we have the kangaroo. Now, disappointingly for a really high premium coin, there is really not much to show. Now, there's a lovely silhouette of the kangaroo. And, well, the kangaroo does have some amazing facial features. Let's just zoom in. But that's the extent of it. It, again, is just that. And I'm not trying to diss or um, put off anyone from buying this coin, but realistically taking a look at it, and especially from the quality of that the Royal Australian Mint, you know, does, especially with design, it's a little bit disappointing. Now, I do like minimalistic. I really love it. However, there's minimalistic within a relative budget, and then there's minimalistic at a extremely high premium. And for me, this falls on the latter. <sighs> I don't know. Um, you know, I love you know, the, the ruse, I love everything uh, nature-wise and all of that, but uh, I'm, I'm, this coin for me is just not getting enough of the incite, you know, excitement and enthusiasm that I'd really expect for a coin like this to have. I don't know what you guys think of it. Um, please let me know in the comments because this is something I'm really curious about. I mean, we do have as I said, some rather intricate details with the boulders, for instance, with these kind of ghosted ferns. Again, I'm not quite sure what they are because in the desert, I've never seen these. My friends in Australia, please reply. Let me know what these things are because I've never seen them before. Um, and of course we have a tree. Yeah, you will find those out in the outback. Uh, it looks like a very typical hardwood tree, um, but, I'm just not buying it. Um, we have the kangaroo tail, as you can see, with the, the body on it. I mean, obviously, I hope it would be attached to the body. Duh. Um, but uh, really, it's they've kind of gone for a multitude of designs and textures on this coin. So, for instance, we have like really high detail here, kind of a silhouette-esque of the kangaroo. Again, some really nice but minimalistic details on the tree. And then the abstract sky. Um, and then, you know, hey, because we, we're not done yet, we're going to kind of ghost in some of these ferns. Well, I'm not sure if it's genius or oh, a mistake. So I can see, I'm, I can see both arguments here. So please leave me a comment down below and tell me what your thoughts and opinions are because look at this. I mean, it is, hmm, 29th in the series. I have not been collecting this and there's no reason really not to have collected it. Um, I, I think I have a couple of them. I don't have the full series, but just, yeah, let me know, please. And, uh, you know, I hope you guys have a amazing weekend wherever you may be. Anyway, this is John Armas. Again, check out the uh, the links down below. You can find a link to Silver Trader and, of course, Ace Bullion and the Precious Metal Forum. And if you stayed this long and you're not subscribed, please consider doing so. All right. Have a great weekend, everyone. Be safe. Bye for now.